Um, what's our first step in solving one of these? Get a variable. Get a variable by itself. Doesn't matter which one. Now I know a lot of you are used to going for y, and so probably you looked at this and got maybe that y by itself. I would actually do something different. Would you get okay. the x? Get the yeah. X See this x? doesn't have anything in front of it, so it would be pretty easy to get that by itself. I'm going to subtract 2y from each side. I have a question. Yep. Does the bracket on the left mean anything? That's just telling you that that is a system of equations, like that it's, that you're solving those two together. Okay. So not really if you know that it's a whole page of systems, but um, yeah, kind of just the notation for that. So. So this I would now rewrite as x equals, and I don't care if you write this as negative 2y minus 1 or negative 1 minus 2y. It doesn't matter as long as the negative signs are in the right spot. But now I have what x equals. And I'm going to take what x equals, the negative 2y minus 1, and put it where? In the equation. In for the x. Okay, so I'm going to go up to this equation and put this in place of this x right here. Okay, and why am I plugging in for x instead of y? Because you got the x. Because I solved for x. This is what x equals. Okay, so I'm plugging that in for x up here. So now that's going to look like this. 2, and then instead of x, I'm going to put in negative 2y minus 1. And then I'm going to finish out the rest of this equation. So plus 3y equals 0. Okay, Tyler, what am I going to do from here? You're going to do... I'm just solving the equation, so how would I simplify it from here? Oh, you're going to get y by itself. Somebody help him. Michaela? Distribute this to... Said that. Okay, so this would be Jesus. negative 4y minus 2 and then plus a 3y equals zero. Okay. What do I want to do from here? Um, I wouldn't add 4y yet. I thought I got a Okay. I've got... Combined. Yeah, there you go. I've got negative 4y and 3y together on the same side of the equation. So I can just combine those. Tyler, you need to make sure you're focusing up here. Thank you. So negative 4y plus 3y is negative 1y minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay? James, now what? Um, you would subtract the uh, y. No, mm. the 2. Okay. So you would add the 2. Add the 2. Good. See, I was paying attention. Add the 2. <laughs> it was a good save, though. Negative 1y equals 2, and then let's divide by negative 1. Okay. And I've got y equal to negative 2. Okay, that's half the battle. I've got my y value. Plug it in. Okay. I'm going to go back up here. You could plug it in there if you wanted to. I'm going to go here where I already solved for x. I've got what x is supposed to equal. So I'm going to plug that right in there. And then I'm going to have x equals negative 2 times negative 2 minus 1. That's going to be positive 4 minus 1, which is 3. So how would I write my final answer? 3, three comma negative two. 2. There you go. 3, comma negative 2, final answer. Okay, just a minute. Okay, final answer on that one. What else do you want to see? Number four. 4. Okay. I did that one. Take a look at number four. Just get this little slide up for you a little bit. I'm wearing a t-shirt. James, like I said, if you want to slide back a couple of seats, you can. That's pretty close to you. 2x minus y equals 6. And x plus y equals negative 3. Okay, a lot of different ways you could go on this one. Somebody tell me which variable you got by itself. You got the x, the y in the first or second equation? Okay, so we want to get this y by itself. So, Brett, what do I need to move? The 3. 3 is good. It's on the other side of the equals. Yeah, let's get rid of the x. So let's subtract the x. 
So now I have y equals negative x minus 3. What do I do from here? Okay, so I'm going to take what y equals and plug it in for y up here. Now this one has some crazy negatives going on. Okay. So I'm going to have 2x minus, and then in parentheses, I'm going to have negative x minus 3. So what I wrote in red there is replacing that y, but you still need that minus sign in front of it, and that's going to make a difference in a minute. Because what do I have to do with that negative sign? Distribute. I have to distribute it, which is going to change the sign on everything. So this is now going to become a plus x and a plus 3. Was that it? Yeah. Find your mistake? I didn't so, distribute it. Yeah, those negative signs will mess you up. 3x plus 3 equals 6. Subtract 3. 1. So 3x equals 3. Yep. Divide by 3, x equals 1. Okay, now where would I plug that back in? To the, to the y. Okay, I'd plug it in where you have y equals. Yeah. So that would be right here. And so now I have y equals negative 1 minus 3. Everyone understand why I made that a negative 1? Because there was a negative. Because there was a negative part of the equation, yeah. So negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. And so then your final answer would be 1 comma negative 4. Okay, one more. One more you want to see? No. Number 9? Okay, I was expecting number 9. Alright, number 9. One half x plus one third y <coughs> equals five. Okay. What do you want to get by itself? Probably the y on the bottom, right? So I'm going to do that by subtracting one fourth x and subtracting one fourth x. So I end up with y equals negative one fourth x plus 10. Okay. I'm going to take what y equals, and I'm going to stick with fractions for a little bit, and in a minute I'll show you how to get rid of the fractions, because I know that's the scariest part of this. But for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and stick with those fractions. So now this top equation is going to read, 1 half x plus 1 third times negative 1 fourth x plus 10 equals 5. Frightening, yes. Okay, can but you can hear it. Off? Yeah, we're just going to multiply through here so I get 1 half x plus, nope, sorry, not plus, because this is going to be a minus, okay. minus 1 twelfth, because 1 times 1 is 1, and 3 times 4 is 12. One times one is one. So that would be 1 twelfth x. What's that? And then 1 third times 10, I'm going to write as 10 over 3 equals 5. Why would you write that over 1 times 3? Because this is really like 10 over 1. So if you multiply straight across, 1 times 10 is 10, and 3 times 1 is 3. Now, this is where I'm going to get rid of those scary fractions, and I'm going to take you back to something we learned in the first chapter. Put parentheses around the whole thing to find the common denominator. That's right. I parentheses here. What do 2, 12, and 3 all go into? 12. They all go into 12. So I'm going to multiply everything in the equation by 12. Okay? So 12 times 1 half is going to be 6. 12 times 1 twelfth is going to be 1. How do you do that? 12 times 1 divided by 12. Oh. Okay. Uh -oh. 12 times 10 over 3, that's like 12 times 10, which is 120, and 120 over 3 is 40. And then don't forget to do the 12 times 5 at the end, so that's equal to 60. Okay, way less scary looking that way. Right? 
So 6 minus 1 is 5. 5x plus 40 equals 60. Subtract the 40. So 5x equals 20. Yep. Divide by 5. And x equals 4. Now, I would go back and plug that back into where we found the y equals up here. Where is it? There we go. I would plug it in here, and I know that looks scary because it has a fraction in it, but it's not going to be bad with a 4. So you're going to have y equals... Oh, yep. How did you get... You got it? You good? Okay. So negative 1 fourth times 4 plus 10. Well, negative 1 fourth times 4 is just what? One, negative, one. negative 1. So this is negative 1 plus 10, which is 9. And so your final coordinate here would be 4 comma 9. Okay. That was a tough one. How did you do? Okay. Um, can you do the last step again? <coughs> that, just this part, the plugging in? Okay, so we found that x was equal to 4. I'm plugging that in for x up here. So I did negative 1 fourth times 4. Negative 1 fourth times 4 is really negative 1 over 4 times 4 over 1. So negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. 4 times 1 is 4, and so that equals negative 1. So that's where I got, so this is like negative 1 plus 10, which is where I got 9. Does that make sense? Okay. Where is everyone?